Until now, you have thought of the bar bedding schedule as something really complex. I promise you, that's not the case. By the end of this video, you will be easily able to prepare the bar bending schedule of a beam. All you need is a little bit of common sense and a little bit of maths. So let's flex those math muscles and get started. So on your screens, you see a beam. Here's what we know. The diameter of the top bars is 12 millimeters. The diameter of the bottom bars is 16 millimeters. The diameter of the stirrups is 8 millimeters. The spacing between the stirrups is 0.3 meters. The concrete cover here is 35 millimeters. The width of the column is 0.4 meters. So if we take a section here, we will see that the number of top bars is 1, 2, 3. And the number of bottom bars is 1, 2, 3, 4. The width of the beam is 0.3 meters. And the height of the beam is 0.35 meters. So, here is the table that we need to fill out. We need to fill out the bar description, the shape of the bar, the diameter of the bar, the number of bars, the length of the bars, and the weight of the bars. So it is clear that we have three basic types of bars here. We have the top bars, we have the bottom bars, and we have the stirrups. So in the bar description column, we will write top bars, bottom bars, and stirrups. The shape of the bars is pretty clear in the drawing. So the top bars look something like this, the bottom bars look something like this, and the stirrups look something like this. The next column we need to fill out is the diameter of the bars. This information is given. We know the diameter of the top bars is 12 millimeters, the diameter of the bottom bars is 16 millimeters, and the diameter of the stirrups is 8 millimeters. The next thing we need to see is the number of bars. In this section, it is pretty clear that the number of top bars is 1, 2, 3. And the number of bottom bars is 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we need to calculate the number of stirrups. From the previous video, we learned that the number of stirrups is the total span divided by the spacing plus 1. So that's 8, which is the span, divided by 0 0.3, which is the spacing between the stirrups, plus 1, which gives us approximately 28 number of stirrups. So let's go ahead and fill our column now. So number of top bars is 3, bottom bars is 4, and the number of stirrups is 28. So far, so good. Next thing we need to work out is the length of the bars. So let's take the top bars first. So the length of the top bar would be the span plus the width of the column on each side minus the concrete cover on each side plus the development length on each side. So let's first calculate the development length. In the previous video, we learned that the development length is calculated as uh, psi sigma divided by 4 times tau bd. But as a thumb rule, let us take the development length as 16 times the diameter. So that's 16 into 0 0.012 because the diameter of the top bars is 12 millimeters, which gives us a development length of 0 0.192. So the length of the top bars is 8 plus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.4 minus 0 0.35 minus 0 0.35 plus 0 0.192 plus 0 0.192, which gives us 9.114 meters. Let's go ahead and fill this in our table. So the length of the bar is 9.114 meters. Similarly, let's go ahead and calculate the length of the bottom bar. So the length of the bottom bar would be the span plus the width of the column on each side minus the concrete cover on each side plus the development length on each side. Again, the development length is 16 times d. So in this case, it becomes 16 into 0 0.016 because we are using 16 mm diameter bars as bottom bars, which gives us 0 0.256. So the length of the bottom bar would be 8 plus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.4 minus 0 0.035 minus 0 0.035 plus 0 0.256 plus 0 0.256, which gives us the length of the bottom bar as 9.242 meters. Simple. So let's go ahead and fill this in our table. The length of the bottom bar is 9.242 meters. Now we need to calculate the length of each stirrup. So the length of the stirrup is L1 plus L2 plus L3 
plus L4 plus hook length plus hook length. What's L1? L1 is the width of the beam minus the cover on each side, which is equal to 0 0.3 minus 0 0.035 minus 0 0.035, which gives us 0 0.23 meters. Similarly, L2 is the height of the beam minus 0 0.035 minus 0 0.035, which gives us 0 0.28 meters. L3 is the same as L1 and L4 is the same as L2. Now we need to calculate the hook length. Hook length is what? It's 9 times the diameter. We know it from our previous video. So the hook length is 9 into 0 0.08 because we are using 8 mm diameter bars as stirrups. So the hook length is 0 0.072 meters. So therefore the length of each stirrup is 0 0.23 plus 0 0.28 plus 0 0.23 plus 0 0.28 plus 0 0.072 plus 0 0.072 which gives us the length of each stirrup as 1.164 meters. So now the only thing left for us to do is to work out the weight of the bars. Why this is important is because when we order steel, the pricing normally happens in terms of the weight. So it is important to know the weight of each member. So let's go ahead and calculate the weights. So what is the weight of the top bars per meter length? We know the formula D squared divided by 162. D in this case is 12. So 12 squared divided by 162 is equal to 0 0.89 kilograms. So the weight of the top bars per meter length is 0 0.89 kilograms. So what is the weight of each top bar now? That is 0 0.89 multiplied by the total length of the bar, which is 9.114. So which gives us the weight of each bar as 8.11 kgs. How many bars do we have? We have three top bars. So the total weight of top bars is the number of bars into 8.11, which gives us 24.33 kilograms. So let's go ahead and fill our table. The weight of the top bars is 24.33 kgs. Very similarly, let us go ahead and calculate the weight of the bottom bars per meter, which is equal to D squared divided by 162, 16 squared divided by 162, which is equal to 1.58 kilograms. So the weight of each bottom bar would be 1.58 into the length of the bar, which gives us 14.6 kilograms. And we know that we have a total of four bottom bars. So the total weight of the bottom bars is four into 14.6, which gives us 58.4 kilograms. So let's go ahead and fill this in our table, 58.4. 4 kilograms. Now the only thing left for us to do is to calculate the weight of the stirrups. Similarly, the weight of the stirrups per meter length would be D squared divided by 162. Diameter in this case is 8. So 8 squared divided by 162, which gives us 0 0.39 kilograms. Therefore, the weight of each stirrup would be 0 0.39 multiplied by the total length of the stirrup, which gives us 0 0.46 kilograms. Now, how many stirrups do we have? We have 28 stirrups. So, the total weight of the stirrups would be 28 multiplied by 0 0.46, which gives us 12.88 kilograms. So, once we fill this in our table, that completes our bar bending schedule for the beam. So, in a few very easy steps, we were able to work out the bar bending schedule of this beam. I hope we can take these principles and therefore be able to calculate the bar bending schedule now of any structure whatsoever. We in the coming videos will take probably a few more examples. We will calculate footings, columns, etc, etc. So for that and a lot more, stay tuned to the channel, show the channel some love and until then, happy building.